Hello. I want to make this video about healing. I owe you two videos. One is about kindling. Somebody wants a video about that. And another person wants one about neuroemotions and rage. Those are coming up. Probably tomorrow I'll do one more. Um, but today I want to talk about healing. Um, somebody... Well, first, before I get into it, please hit subscribe below and like the video if you do. If you don't like it, just leave. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, please subscribe if you can, really. Okay, so, because, you know, they're running pharmaceutical ads on my channel, so I might as well get credit for it if I can, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, okay, so someone triggered me big time on Twitter. Basically, I said, you know, it is possible to heal from being harmed by psychiatric drugs. It is possible to be healed, to heal from trauma. It's possible to heal from chronic illness. And somebody got really offended by that and said, um, I'm selling people, uh, fake promises. They are entitled to feel that way. It's, you know, I was, I was once like that. I thought the same way. This is all I'm going to say. This has been my experience with healing. Okay. When I say the word healing, it kind of means, um, I don't know. It's like, how do you put things back into place that you feel at peace about them on like a psychological level, but also, so like in the case of post-traumatic stress, right. Or like grief or depression or like, um, child abuse, like your somebody abused you. So there's like healing that has to happen for you to like come to terms with it. And, not, and that's not to say like it never happened or like you forgive these people that hurt you so bad. I hate the whole forgiveness thing. I'll have to make a video about that one day, but you know, like at what point does, are you not like consumed by it? And it's like impacting your entire life and you can't see outside of it. And you're like walking around like, like a bleeding ulcer with it open. And, um, then there's the whole healing of pharmaceutical injury or whatever you want to call it, what we have. Some people call it bind now, benzo-induced neurological dysfunction, I think. Um, and then people with SSRIs or antipsychotics, you know, pharmaceutical injury, brain injury. There's all these names for it. A lot of that is like cellular damage, like the receptors that the drug was absorbing are all screwed up. And like you have to wait for those things to to mend themselves you know some of it has to do with neuroplasticity like maybe there is damage but your brain learns that it's safe and like it calms everything down and maybe it rewires around some of the damage you know there's all these different layers of healing that happen during this process you know um but this is what healing is not okay at least I'm not there yet, maybe. So I, I tell people all the time, like, 80%. Like, I feel 80%. I'm not 100%. I still have, like, an increased amount of anxiety that I know is not my baseline. Because um, I would never have succeeded in the military with extreme anxiety. Like, that would never have happened. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's stuff, like, I have vision problems still. I have a little bit of vestibular issue. But here's the thing. Like, the rest of my life is fine. Like, I can function mostly. I can work out. I can ride my bike for miles and miles and miles. I can do squats forever. I don't have any, you know, um, like, consequences from it. And just a year ago, I couldn't even walk a mile. As soon as I'd walk a mile, my symptoms would get worse, and I would turn around and go back. So, um, so what I'm saying is, like, healing is not perfection. It doesn't mean... Everything is gone and I'm perfect and I'm the person I was before this happened. I wouldn't want to be that person. I'm just saying. Um, because, and this is, this is where I've come to. This is part of my healing. Okay, I'm not speaking for anyone else. It's not my place to tell you that you have to do this for your life. This is what I've come to. You know what I mean? This experience made me reanalyze every part of my life. Every single part. Like... Down to what water am I going to drink? Am I going to drink tap water? Or am I going to drink bottled water? Or am I going to drink out of a water filter? <laughs> like, even that has been, like, analyzed, okay? What toothpaste am I going to use? What soap am I going to put on my body? Um, do I just blindly believe everything a doctor says? Do I read every single thing that I put in, on, or around my body? It also made me reanalyze, like, um, friendships. Like, my, my whole problem with friendships is I know, like my body tells me red flag, red flag. 
you know, this person's mean. You've seen them talk about other people. Um, they'll do it to you. You know, I get these red flags and I'm not perfect. Like sometimes I gossip too, or I say bad things about people. And, and I know like, that's not my normal, like usually I have to be around people that, that brings that out of me. And I don't like that part of me being brought out. You know what I mean? I don't like to do that. I feel horrible. Like as it's coming out of my mouth. Um, so, for, so like I, you know, I decide like who, like what energy do I want around me? family relationships if people take advantage of me I'm like nope this is not how this goes you know even like speaking up for myself like I have a pattern which is probably not a good one but when I see something that's wrong I say something and that's like part fear like I don't want things to be wrong and like I want them to be orderly and organized but then it's part like military like if you made a bad decision, like people die, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm like very serious about things. Like there's something wrong here, fix it. And I've always been like that, at least like since the military part, I don't think I was like that as a kid, but like if I see some, if I see a piece of trash on a trail, I pick it up. That's just who I am, you know? Um, so even that like business relationships, like what I'll tolerate from a person you know, I'm, I'm, when I, when I trained as a therapist, I, the one thing I learned like the most, like it taught me how to communicate and maybe I'm not perfect, you know, nobody is, but like when someone hurts my feelings, like I usually can catch it pretty quick and be like, Hey, what you just said really hurt me. Or like if someone's treating me bad, I'll say like, Hey, I don't want to talk about this right now. This is hurting my feelings. Or, um, like I say things that need to be said instead of just like stuffing them like I used to, you know, I'm more aware of like this person is bringing this thing out of me that I don't want or I'm in a restaurant with food that I shouldn't eat, like doesn't feel good to me. You know, I drink caffeine now with no consequence, but it doesn't feel like great. Like I don't like feeling like jittery. Like, yeah, I can get a lot of stuff done, but like, do I want to feel jittery in the meantime? Not really. So that's what I'm saying. So like healing is not perfection. It's like you become a new person because of this experience or I, that's what I have. Okay. I have become a different person. I like this person. I don't, I don't, I don't miss the person that I used to be. It's like, I'm different. So it's like, that's who I was then. This is who I am now. I don't, it's like almost like I've, I have some symptoms, but I'm like, so what? So what? Like today I walked two miles on a trail and I was sitting by the water and I played fetch with my dog. I'm not sitting there like thinking about like, oh my God, my eyes, like I used to, you know, like, oh, my eyes are so bad. I can't, you know, I can't walk. That has not even crossed my mind. I'm in the moment and I'm enjoying the free time and the freedom and the peace and the fresh air. And I breathe in all the, like I always breathe through my nose on purpose. I'm, I'm, I'm at high of elevation right now, so I'm kind of out of breath, but like I breathe it in you know, I'm just like, oh, where am I? I'm like very much present for like the experience. I'm not thinking about my symptoms. I'm not thinking about regrets or my anger or my past or, you know, anything. I try to be in the moment as much as possible. So that's my point is that healing is not perfection. It, I, I have come to like, come to peace with a lot of what has happened. I can't go back and get my thirties back. All my 30s were all medicated. Don't even remember half of it. I don't even know what the heck I was doing. I don't know where I spent my disability money. I don't, all I had was a bunch of books to show for it. Like I would go to therapy, go to the pharmacy, pick up my scripts and go straight to the bookstore and blow money on books and then read the book and then donate it. Like that's what I did my entire 30s. I had no boyfriend. I had no kids. I didn't have friends, nothing, you know, um, but I don't, I'm not like consumed by that anger and like regret. It's like, okay, it happened. I can't, I can grieve it. I've b gone through that grieving process. And now it's like, this is my second chance of life and I'm going to live it. And that to me is healing for me. Um, but it's not some like pearly gates where everything is perfect and life never happens to you again because your dog will die your mother will die. You might get another illness. You know, you might um, get in a car accident. We all going to die someday too, right? But it's like, what do you do after most of your symptoms are gone and death is later? You know, there's like space in between and like, what are you going to do with it? So 
Are you going to spend it like angry? No. Like once the symptoms start to ease off, you like, this is why people leave groups because they go enjoy their life. They're not sitting on Facebook, but then everybody in the community is like, where's all the healed people? Nobody's here to tell us success stories. Nobody helps us. And then there's a few of us like me that are like, hi, I'm right here. <laughs> like healing is real. And then people are like, you're full of shit. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not full of shit. I promise you. Go look at my older videos. Go watch Medicating Normal. I'm look how sick I was and now look at me now. Like I'm happy, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know what this was gonna turn out to be. I usually write notes and I didn't. I was like, just spitball it. Okay, so there's my thing. Healing comes in many forms. It's not you're not gonna be perfect and life is never gonna happen to you again. But the joys and the freedom and like being in the present moment and never taking anything for granted again and being able to remake your life the way you want it to be. Like, I always thought that was woo-woo, you know, like you can have whatever kind of life you want or you can build a new reality. You know, I thought that was woo-woo, but it's scary, man. I'm telling you right now, it's scary to like sell 90% of your things and buy an RV because you want a different life and to get a loan that you can't afford to have a different life. But here I am. I'm doing it. I've rebuilt my life from nothing. I had nothing to lose and everything to gain from it. And I have had three years of great experience on the road, even though I didn't feel good. Um, I've made friends all over the world. I've visited some of you survivors in real life, in person, and gave you hugs in real life and felt the hug and felt the emotion and cried with you. And um, wake up in the morning happy to be here like happy to be alive and not dreading the day of symptoms you know so please hang in there I know I keep saying it over and over and over again healing is real it's inevitable don't listen to the groups that say you're never going to heal and it's all bs do you know how many people I've talked down over the years from people that read so and so said it's permanent so and so it said it's neurotoxicity and it'll never go away so-and-so is not good at 12 years off, you know, don't, please, you're in the, the majority of people heal most of the way with most of the symptoms. Please just hang in there and stick to the good things that nourish you, the healing stories. Read about healing from brain injury or healing from stroke, healing from um, car accidents, like broken limbs, like evolutionary biology, like I don't know, but just like stay in the game, okay? Life is good. I promise you I wouldn't be here to tell you that it was good, I pro made that promise. Like, if, if I live through this, I have to tell people. And here I am. I'm telling you. Okay, this is the sign. You are going to be fine. I'm looking right in the mirror. In the, looking right there. Okay, I'm going to shut up now and go to sleep because it's late. But there's your evening uh, video and more, more coming soon. Bye-bye.